Good morning and welcome to Kids Spot News. I'm your news anchor Kennedy Watts and in this week's edition we'll be continuing our coverage of the Book of Psalms. Later in this segment we'll be crossing to our special correspondent David in Jerusalem who has some exciting news to report. But first let's cross to Hadley who will be bringing us this week's weather forecast. Okay, today at the Narrowbow is a forecast. We have lots of bad things happening. We have a lightning over here, some rain and lots of wind. A really bad storm. There's just a normal storm here. Over here we have some hail. And over here we have a big tornado. And all of this is really, really bad. Back to you, Ken. Thanks for that report, Hadley. Oh, that's a glim and gloomy look for the week ahead. Not a very nice week of weather at all, and just as we've come out of lockdown. How sad. And now for sport. Our sports reporter, Reese Watt, is live from the trampolining arena. Reese, you have some news from the trampolining world championships. Yes, Kennedy, I was hoping to show you lots of trampoline action, but unfortunately there has been an accident. Springs are broken and the trampoline is falling to bits. It's a complete disaster. I don't know what happened, but it's really bad. Over to you, Kennedy. Oh my, Reese, that really is a bad situation at the trampolining arena. I imagine we will probably have some injury reports coming in from there soon, based on the state of that trampoline. Well, so far in today's news, all reports have been, well, pretty glum. Sometimes when the world around us seems so broken, we may think that it's impossible to praise God. We may think that we don't have any reason to praise God. To help us fix this way of thinking, we are now going to cross to our special correspondent, David in Jerusalem. Are you there, David? Yes, I'm here, Kennedy. Shalom. I'm sitting outside my house just putting the finishing touches on my new song, Psalm 18. I wrote this song for the director of music. The words of this song are used to sing praises to God in thanks and celebration for him delivering me from my enemies. Would you like to hear the first few bars? Yes, please. Do go ahead. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I've called to the Lord who is worthy of praise, and I have been saved from my enemies. Did you like it? Yes, most definitely I did. Why, David, that sounds like such a delightful song. You really must have experienced such great deliverance in your life to praise God so wholeheartedly. Yes, looking back on my life, I have so much to praise God for because he has done so much for me, which is why I wrote this song. Thank you again, David. And just on that, I do believe we have some old eyewitness accounts from our archives capturing these moments in David's life that he speaks of. Well, my first encounter with David was a few years ago. I was just walking down the dirt road when out of nowhere I saw these two groups fighting. One had heaps, one had about 300. And there was this massive guy. He would have been nine feet tall. And he stepped out real loud, said some nasty words. I don't want to repeat them. And then all of a sudden this little boy about yay high just stepped out, grabbed his slingshot, put a rock in, and went BAM! Hit him right between the eyes. Knocked him over. And that's how I saw met David. It was mighty clear. God was on his side. We were visiting our friends on a sheep farm when I first saw David. We were out watching the sheep graze. And all of a sudden a massive bear came out of nowhere. And David was able to fend him off, saving all the sheep. We don't know how he did it. But I know God was with him. The second time, he was able to stop a lion. It was obvious that God was there. 
Nothing could stop David and his God. As we've seen from the scenes in Jerusalem, we always have a reason to praise God, no matter what situation we are in, because of what he has done for us. For David, God delivered him from many of his enemies and saved him so many times from impossible circumstances. David was able to celebrate these victories and praise God for all of them. That's why he wrote Psalm 18. And we too, as the people of God, always have a reason to praise God because of what he has done for us. We know that God loves us so much that he sent his one and only son so that whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. We won't be punished as a result of our sins as we deserve. We've been saved by what Jesus did for us on the cross. So absolutely, we have a reason to always praise God. Thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Kids Spot News.